Daily Planet. Joe Justice has built a super lightweight car made of interchangeable pieces like Mr. Potato Head. So how's it running? 100 miles per gallon worth of awesome is how it's running. This is Daily Planet. October 31st, 2011. It's Halloween. I'm Zaya Tong. I'm Batman. Well, sort of I'm Batman. I'm kind of like what Batman would be if he had a $10 clothing budget. But it's yeah, pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You want to check yeah. out my wings? Dad? Sure. What do you got there? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay like that, a little we? later, we're going to meet the person who created this amazing creation that I'm wearing for Halloween this year. Plus, I'm going to show you why my costume is just as good as hers. <laughs> okay, we're even going to find out how dragonflies can be scared to death quite literally. But first, last week was Road Warriors Week on Daily Planet. We got a lot of positive feedback, so to help you taper off that rush that you're on from last week, we're going to kick off today's show with one more Road Warriors segment. That's right. Today's story takes us to Seattle to check out a car that not only goes really fast, it's also amazingly fuel efficient. Check this out. Joe Justice has got a lot of volunteers. 44 volunteer team members in four countries. And uh, that was completely unexpected. I didn't mean to be growing a volunteer team. That's what happens when you come up with a great idea for a super fuel efficient car. I did simulations of the lightweight, safe designed chassis that I was working on, and they were returning right around 70 miles per gallon in simulation. And I blogged everything that I discovered and everything that didn't go well. And folks started visiting the shop to see how this was unfolding. And they ended up staying and volunteering. Joe's named his car Wikispeed. Wikispeed is uh, based on the Hawaiian word for speed, wiki wiki. It is a fast car. Zero to 60 comes in right about five seconds. It can reach a top speed of 233 kilometers an hour, but that's not why Joe named it Wikispeed. The body of the car is carbon fiber, and we are able to detach that from the car to make changes to it quickly without redeveloping the car. The car is like Mr. Potato Head. You have the main frame, and everything else can be swapped out quickly. We're able to make changes quickly because our vehicle is modular. Engine. The entire drivetrain is a module. The transmission, the cooling system, the fuel system, the emissions system. It all rolls out together and we can test another one in about the time it takes to change a tire. Joe's team is working on all sorts of body types for Wikispeed, but today they're getting the sportier version ready for a test run. We care about aesthetics as much as we can, but the governing factor is efficiency. Efficient shapes happen to be what a lot of people think is sporty and beautiful right now, so that's really lucky for us but the shape of the car is dictated by aerodynamics and by safety. And lucky for us, that ends up looking a lot like a Le Mans style race car. So I'm gonna flip on the dash, and I'm gonna flip on our shifter, and I'm gonna shift, flip on our fuel pump. Clear. With looks like this, you'd think Joe's driving a gas guzzler. 100 miles per gallon worth of awesome is how it's running. Right now we're probably getting about 125 miles per gallon. Around town cruising at this speed, it's pretty high. It runs on gasoline. This is not a hybrid car. But Joe's maximized fuel efficiency by making Wikispeed aerodynamic and light. The chassis is extruded aluminum, a similar tech to what Lotus, Jaguar, and Aston Martin use. We use an extremely light set of aluminum extrusions and then provide an aerodynamic shape outside them made of all carbon fiber. It was making more uh, noise vibration and harshness than I would have liked. I think our next step for this body is going to be upgrading some bushings and sound deadening so that it's a, a more comfy, cozy ride. I'm gonna drill two bolt holes on each side and put uh, bolts through the body into the uh, body mount frame. And that's going to help calm down some of the noise, vibration, and harshness that we're experiencing today. Should give it a little quieter ride. Brian Ford has a lot of experience working on cars. He found out about the Wikispeed project online and immediately got involved. In fact, his wife and three sons are also helping out today. You're right. You're right. There you go. 
you gotta push your butt through. Okay, now see that bolt right there that Kurt has through? Uh -huh. Can you screw that on there, please? Tomorrow, if somebody invented an engine that we could pour tap water in the gas tank and uh, drive our car, we don't have a 10-year production cycle to put that technology in our vehicle. All we have to do is retool our engine module, and that engine module plugs directly into our main frame. Things move fast around here, but Joe is not compromising on safety. This simulation shows how the entire frame shares the stress of impact. The car gets a five-star crash equivalency. It's, to our knowledge, the lightest chassis in the world to achieve a five-star crash rating equivalency safe, but right now it's a little noisy. It sounds like our exhaust mount is rattling in the back. I'll have Brian Ford fab up rubber exhaust hangers when we get back. A fast, sexy, super fuel efficient car that can be upgraded quickly? No wonder everyone is flocking to help Joe build Wikispeed. Wikispeed is exceeding all of my expectations. I originally thought this was going to be a small project that I would take on by myself and the collaborative team that I never counted on, I, n I never anticipated, has enabled us to do a thousand, ten thousand times more and much faster than I ever could have even tried to do on my own, and I never anticipated that. And the best thing of all, you can order your own Wikispeed for $25,000 US. And then, maybe some of those volunteers will start getting paid.